Hey, how's it going guys? Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'll show you something that many people, uh, they requested. So they had some problems and some issues with the connection with the app. So in today's video, I'll show you that. And actually, I have the same problem. So I'll show you in today's video. But first, let me show you how to connect with Android. So this is my Pixel XL2. It's an Android phone. So to connect, it's pretty simple. Make sure the Bluetooth is on. Let me do that. So just uh, because the video, so make sure that this is right. So make sure that the Bluetooth, make sure that the Bluetooth is on and also the GPS as well. And then just go to the app. And as you can see on Android device, it's asking you to switch the Bluetooth on. So you basically need to allow. And now I believe now we should be set. And yeah, as you can see with Android, it's very simple to connect. I don't know, I have problems to connect with my iPhone, which I'll show you now. So I think some people have the same issue. So as you can see, pretty, pretty simple, very easy to navigate. Again, let me show you now some of the features. So adjust, so from adjust, you can basically adjust some of the colors. You can play, uh, just be creative. I think it's fun. And now the second option is style. So basically with the style, you can choose different colors. So we have the names. As you can see, pretty simple, very pretty straightforward as well. And now we have music. Basically, if I play some music from here now, uh, the lights will dance as well. So they will follow the music, which is pretty good. So, uh, yeah. And the next one is the mic. This is my favorite feature. So basically, when I talk, the lights follow my voice, which is, I think it's cool. And then we have a shadow, so basically we can uh, choose a specific day to turn the lights on. Let's go back to uh, adjust. So as you can see, with Android it's very simple, very simple. Sometimes it's very easy. Uh, I think it's, I don't know, the app is not optimized, it's not very good. I hope they can optimize the app uh, and get some updates, but with Android it's I should I say my maybe 50 60 percent is okay connects most of the time and now the real problem is with uh, um, iPhone so basically I'll demonstrate now so my iPhone so basically my my GPS and my Bluetooth is off now so let's go to my iPhone here is the real problem so basically this is my iPhone SE first generation so as you can see, my Bluetooth is on. Also make sure the Bluetooth is on and your service location, your GPS needs to be uh, on as well. And let's try to connect now. So as you can see, the Bluetooth is on, service location is already on. And let's go to the app. Where is the app? So this is the name of the app. I will leave it in the descriptions down below. And if we go to the three dots on the left side, as you can see, it's not here. So the device is not here. So let's go to Bluetooth quickly. Let's go to the Bluetooth settings. As you can see, the name of the lights, uh, ELK. So let's click that and we should connect now. I think many people requested the video. They had some problems um, to connect, but yeah, now it says connected. Let's go back to the app. And let's try to connect. As you can see, it's not connecting. So now I understand why this is happening. Some people had problems with 
with the connection so let me know in the comments down below if you have the same problem if you have an iPhone uh, if this is happening to you as well but yeah this is not pleasant the app should work pretty good but it doesn't okay so let's let's try to connect with the Android again so let me try to connect with my uh, Pixel XL2, the Bluetooth is on, GPS is on, and let's go to the app. No, it's not connected. I don't know if you can see, this here is my, my Pixel XL2. yeah so now it's connected see with the Android is the connection is very good It's connecting pretty good pretty easy but the problem is with uh, iPhone so if you have an iPhone yeah nothing to do try to restart the iPhone a couple of times yeah unfortunately if you have an iPhone this is gonna be a problem but We have the remote control so the device comes with the remote control pretty easy to navigate so as you can see white we have the RGB colors here we have the red I need to point down where is the receiver we have a green we have a blue so as you can see the remote control is pretty straightforward as well so we have the brightness up and down. We have uh, basically, I think it's a play button. I don't know what is this for. We have the switch power on and off. So if you want to switch the lights. Uh, and we have the RGB colors. So we have music buttons here as well. So basically when you play music, the lights will follow uh, the beat. Also we have the uh, DYA uh, so if you want to create your all colors but the remote control is pretty straightforward um, but yeah I hope this video helps guys let me know what do you think if this video is helpful but yeah we have a problem to connect with the iPhone so let me try one more time for the last time so as you can see the Bluetooth is on, let's go to the lights, but we're missing the connection here which is pretty pretty frustrating if I'm honest with you. Let's go to the Bluetooth and let's see if this is being connected. It's just looking for the device which is pretty frustrating so uh, but yeah, but yeah, I'm not gonna keep so basically if you have an iPhone. Yeah, this is a problem for you guys So I hope they can fix the app soon, but if you have a um, Android phone Yeah, see connection very easy so one once you connect it knows your phone and connects and connects pretty easy Okay guys, I hope this video is helpful. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, let me know what do you think. And if you have uh, um, different questions, I'm gonna try to answer it in the comments down below. I hope this video is helpful. So yeah, leave your thoughts down uh, in the comments down below. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. This is Stefan.